Welcome to day 17 of your mindful experiment. Today, you'll play with opposite emotions. Now, you've been playing with an emotion for the past two days. You can select that emotion. That's your challenging emotion. Or, and it might be one and the same, you can select one of your triggers, okay, that you set at the beginning of this experiment. Now, the other emotion would be its opposite. So the emotion that feels more easy, the more positive emotion. Now, it doesn't have to be dictionary opposite, but it could be. It's your opposite. So let me restate this. You're basically going to pick two emotions. They can be directly tied to your intention and your triggers. So we can weave this all in. And it might be one and the same. It can also be directly related to the emotion you've been playing with for the last two days and its opposite. Okay. Pause me if you need to think about that. Here's what you'll do. This is straight from Yoga Nidra. You will get comfortable and I'll guide you through a very short meditation to feel into both of these emotions and then to consider holding them both at the same time. It's just a play. It's just a practice. A few things. You'll practice taking the seat of the observer, meaning you're observing how these emotions feel. This helps us over time allow the emotions to be in our experience without being the emotion. So it gives a little distance between you and the emotion when we can learn with practice to observe. Number two, over time, it helps us to hold all experiences and maybe even eventually take away the charge of bad emotion or good emotion. But it's just for practice. Okay, so here we go. Sit down and let me also re restate one thing quickly or state a new one thing. I want you to have a neutral, safe space to come back to. So if the emotion becomes too much, you don't have to stay with it. Your safe space to come back to could be your breath. It could be your heartbeat. It could be visualizing a calming picture or thinking of a calming memory. So think of your safe space to come back to at any time if the challenging emotion becomes too much. And here we go. Eyes can be open or closed. If they're open, take a soft gaze. If there's any sort of stress or tension in your shoulders or your body, just wiggle it out for a moment. And then if it feels okay in the body to come to stillness, please do so. Now take the seat of the observer. What that means is you are taking the position of watching these emotions come into your experience, just like you are watching a movie mildly curious, mildly interested, but you're not the movie. Okay. So first, remind yourself of your safe space that you can come back to, your neutral space. That might be your heartbeat. It may be your breath, a calming memory, or something else. At any time, you can return to your neutral, safe space. Now call on your emotion that's a bit challenging. What does that emotion feel like? You're simply observing that emotion, observing how it feels within your body, observing where it may live in your body. observing any thoughts that may be coming up. Observing how this emotion is within your experience. Now release that emotion and come back to your neutral space that may be observing your breath or something else. 
Tap deeper into your neutral space. Now call on the opposite emotion. This is the emotion that's a little bit more easy. The opposite for you of the challenging emotion. Call it in. You're observing it. Observing how it feels within your body. Observing where it may be located. Observing any thoughts, sensations, anything at all that come up as you call this emotion into your experience. Now release that emotion, let it go, let it pass on by and return to your neutral space. That might be your breath, inhaling and exhaling or something else. And now we'll call both emotions in first call on that challenging emotion let it be in your experience observe it in your experience keep holding it and also call on the opposite emotion observe how that emotion feels in your experience Feel the challenging emotion, observe it, you're safe. Observe the opposite emotion. Observe the challenging emotion. Observe the ease emotion. Observe both emotions together. Holding space for both emotions to be present in your experience at the same time. Now let both emotions pass on through you and return to your neutral space, your breath, inhaling and exhaling or something else. And now take a moment to reflect on your experience. Breathe in together. Breathe out. <sighs> well done. For me and for a lot of people, this is a very challenging experiment, a very challenging mindful activity to be able to even begin to play with holding both emotions at once. So keep playing with it. Write your observations of this in the comments below. Thank you for playing. I'll see you tomorrow.